what's going on everybody this is my old grey fergie i'm not even well i think it's a tea i'm not entirely sure it looks like a bit of mixture of parts this is day two it's sunday day two of working on it so day three friday night i installed this alternator that belt's good um and yesterday i did the wiring for it uh, it took a bit of messing about with to figure out what wires go where i'm waiting on a proper charge light this is just here to make it all work pretty much hopefully i can get a proper charge light set up because we had a few problems yesterday so that doesn't even light up at the minute um so it's come a long way since i've owned it about six months in that six months i've spent about 20 quid on the engine <sighs> about 600 quid on tires just at the back and just now i've just completed down here i don't know if you want to call it well it is a bodge uh this would dead loose so it was knocking all the time because this ball's probably a bit warm but you can't actually buy these i've looked well you probably can but i've looked on agriline and i can't find any of these so for now i've wrapped it in electrical tape and done it back up and that seems to have solved it so call it genius call it bodge i don't know this tractor's never it's never going to be perfect like it's not going to get done up um, I've painted the bonnet since I've owned it really badly but I like the um, patina of it you know a bit of crappy paint and a bit of rust and I like it so yeah as you can see the wiring comes the wiring that I did yesterday is this black wire here so now fingers crossed She actually starts on her own power, which is absolutely fucking brilliant. Stops on the key. That's fucking fantastic. That's a big improvement since Friday. Um, I actually drove it back uh, Thursday night, I do believe, to where I live. Um, so it's like five or six mile. Took me an hour to jump start it. Yes, an hour. It was the right pain. I've got a link box for it over in the shed over there. But I'm not sure if it's bending the arms. The arms, I don't know if they're meant to be this loose. But that's something to look at. I've been looking at parts. I'm going to get some new mug guards, I've decided. They're expensive. I think they're about 90 quid each. But, again, the this shot out of the, the, the fucked, basically. So I'm going to get some new of them. And then hopefully start taking it to shows. Um... There is a few numbers on it, but um, I don't, well, I sort of do know how to get road register in it, but um, it takes a lot of time and a bit of money, so I'm not sure if I'm going to entirely road register it yet. Um, other than that, I, it's all original, but I think a lot of it's a mixture of parts, like I think it's got the wrong fuel tank on for a start, if it is a TEA, I'm not entirely sure, maybe someone can tell me in the comments. Um, other than that, that's it. This is my tractor. Cost me just shy of 700 quid, so we can't complain. So yeah, if anyone wants to um, tell me what I th they think I should, you know, do with it next. Like all the steering's solid, and now that that's fixed, that's grand as well. So I think we'll start her up. And just go for a little total round. Yep, the bonnet doesn't have catches on. Yes, I need a, a new oil gauge because that's broke. The amp gauge won't sort in because it's currently, when I turn the key, it goes backwards. I think. I'm not entirely sure what. Anyway. But well, I can get her to. That's idle. She runs sweet as a nut. And this. Not sure how long it's been sat in a barn from where I bought it from, but that's with 20 pounds worth of gaskets in the engine. That's all I've had to do. So I think it runs pretty sweet for 20 quid. Like I said, the only main issue were the tyres. These were bloody expensive, and if I'd have looked on AgriLine, I could have got two new rims and tyres for about the same as what I paid for tyres. But anyway, I think 
We might put the link box back on her. I think. It is quite a heavy link box, but I'm not sure if this levelling thing has anything to do with... Well, it will do, because it sits wonky. So I think we need to sort this out, but obviously this is in the way. Um, other than that, it's just going to go to shows. Uh, obviously, it's going to get transported there on a the trailer. But I think we'll go for a little tootle. Let's just get her in second gear here. Runs in all gears. As I nearly stole it, watch. But she's sweet as a nut. Uh, the, the throttle's a bit... I'm not sure what's up with the throttle. It seems all or nothing. But, I can't complain. I'm happy as Larry just doing a bit of mechanics on this. So this is my TEA. I do believe it's a TEA. And I love it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.